this ride. <laughs> I know nowadays people are more used to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the MCU. It's what you think of when you think Marvel movie. But when I think of Marvel movie, I think of the classics. The 2000s Marvel movies were full of personality, and they weren't afraid to embrace their comic book weirdness. And one of those movies was Ghost Rider. Yes, the 2005 Ghost Rider movie. I wasn't lying when I said these movies weren't afraid to stray away from the weirdness. Griffin at the door! Griffin at the door! I'm gonna let him out. <sighs> for better or for worse. So this movie came out in 2007 and was played by Nicolas Cage, our national treasure. Now obviously a kick-ass movie means merchandise. merchandise. And luckily we did get figures for it all of which came out for the first movie. They didn't make any for the second movie, probably because it sucked so hard. That's where I got the clip I showed you earlier, you know, the scraping at the door. Scraping at the door! But I actually like the first movie a lot. Now, anyway, the figures. Well, guess what? We're not looking at any of these hey, motherfuckers. Yo, the We're fuck? looking at the one that comes with the bike because it's Ghost Rider. Why would he not have his bike, you fucking idiot? And also we're looking at the one that comes with the Nicolas Cage head because it's Nicolas Cage. Why would we not? Let's ride. Oh. Yeah, I don't know, man. Looks like a shit video to me. BBC one. Let's start off with a question. Who made these figures? Was it Toy Biz or Hasbro? The answer is both. Let me explain. 2007, while being the year Ghost Rider released, was also the year that Toy Biz went bankrupt. They were selling all their toys a lot lower than they should be. So most of the boomers talking about, Oh, they used to give us a lot more for a lot less. Well, guess what? It's because of those low prices that your favorite toy company got bankrupt. The toy company Hasbro saw this and decided to swoop in and take the Marvel rights. Now everyone's favorite toy producer, Dwight Stahl, can make Bucky Cat molds. Bucky Cat molds for everyone. But before Toy Biz fucking died, they were working on the movie Ghost Rider figures. Hasbro, being the lazy bastards that they are, decided to reuse these molds. It would save them money and not let the molds go to waste. Whether or not Hasbro modified these figures is unknown. Congratulations, you now know why Hasbro has the Marvel rights, you fucking nerd. Right, so for this movie, they made a whole wave of Ghost Rider figures, but one thing that they all have in common is that they all don't have a bike. Having Ghost Rider without his bike is like having Captain America without his shield or Wolverine without his claws. So obviously, if you were to get a Ghost Rider from the movie, you'd want the one with his bike. Well, there's two big problems with that. Firstly, they only made one with his motorcycle, and secondly, it's the most expensive and rarest figure of them all. This is the Electronic Flame Cycle Ghost Rider. We'll get to the bike later, right now we're just gonna focus on this figure. The main focus of Ghost Rider is obviously his skull head and um... This doesn't look that good. Like, it's not terrible, it, it does look threatening, but like, why are the teeth white it should be the same color as his skull that that's not how fucking skulls work he must have had some good ass toothpaste the fire looks pretty cool though it's got an orange base with red highlights i mean it does look like he has a perm you know that's that's another asshole i know who has a perm on his head but you know you can see he has this random bit of fire on his chest. He also has these pupils in his eyes, which he's not supposed to have. He's a skull, not a fucking- They most likely base this head off of this picture right here. Getting a look at his torso, you can see all his detail is there. It's all well sculpted and painted. Even got some dust right here, which, um, yeah, sorry about that. These spikes are a bit oversized, but at least they're painted silver. These, along with the entire torso, is made of a soft rubber. Unique to this figure is all the blue highlights. These highlights go throughout the entire figure. All pretty standard until you get to the gloves. You can see they're appropriately spiky. His right hand looks a bit misshapen, but we'll get to that in a minute. Very nice sculpt on the black jean. Some cool detail on the boots. And paint even on the back of the figure. This figure is pretty cool. You know who else? You got all this cool paint and a bunch of cool detail, but like... 
he just looks off. I know proportions weren't Toy Biz's strong suit, but goddamn. His head can move side to side, but it doesn't move up and down at all. Like, come on, what the heck, man? Why, why can't his head move up and down? He can literally ride a bike. I guess he makes up for it by having funny jaw articulation. You can have him say funny shit. I am Mrs. Nesbitt. I am... <laughs> He's got these big-ass ball joints on his shoulders. A swivel, double joints, swivel again. The wrist moves up and down, and he has individual fingers on his left hand, but his right hand's a blob, which we'll get to in a minute. Be patient, fuckers. He's actually got a decent ab crunch. The legs are on ball joints, so they move forward, out, rotation. He's got this double-jointed knee that also swivels. It's like the Spider-Man 3 figures, so I don't know if Hasbro did this or if it was Toy Biz. Feet don't move up and down, like, at all. I mean, there's a joint, but it doesn't move. What a shame. At least he has toe joints for his duck feet. He's known for the vroom 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 vroom. Aw, yeah, this bike is sick. All of the demoniacal sculpting is there. There's some blue shading that's offset the silver, which I like. The fire pieces are made of the same material as his hair, so, you know, it, it, so it'll match. You can see there's screws on this side, but, like, you know, who cares? At least they're not on the other side. It does have a kickstand, so you can display it properly. Even when you fold it inward, it still, like, kinda acts as a kickstand. But that's not all, folks. It has this big-ass button on it. Simply press it, and it lights up and makes sounds. You may have noticed this circle on the side of it. Well, the Ghost Rider's right hand doesn't look like a blob for nothing. There's actually a magnet on the inside of it. So you just line these up and... Come on. Fuck. Shit. Just fucking... Just... Dude. Dude! Just fucking... Oh my... God, you just gotta find the right G-spot, you know what I'm saying? Just fucking... There, finally! God damn! Man, I don't need this. I have Spider-Man. He can turn the bike on himself. To help him sit on the bike, there's this peg sticking out of both sides of it. There are holes in this Ghost Rider's calves, so what you gotta do is plug them in on both sides. And now we got Ghost Rider on the bike. He is ready to fight Blackheart. Who would want to fight Blackheart though? That figure and that character just sucks. <laughs> What's your favorite superhero movie? Tis if he from YouTube, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? What's your favorite superhero movie? Huh? <laughs> uh, I don't know, I guess Ghost Rider? Ghost Rider? Yeah, no, fuck off. Yeah, that movie was good, but the villain sucked ass. That villain sucked ass, bro. Oh yeah, man. Was complete dog shit. Oh, I fucking hated Blackheart. That man was fucking awful. Yeah, I'm gonna have to call you back. Hey, Blackheart. How's it hanging, buddy? I thought you were dead. Um. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh god. I'm collecting the souls of your ancestors. That's why there's no Raimi figures on eBay. Hey, Blackheart. Your Jordans are fake as fuck. No. It can't be. No. 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 Oh, yeah. It's time to ride! You're going to the underworld, bitch. And now! Uh, uh, dinner 
expect to save a spider today. Uh, yeah, well, thanks for the help. Uh, oh, yeah, don't mention it. I sent Blackheart to somebody that could take care of him. Uh, for good, probably. And I'm probably going to have to get involved again, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> I've kicked more asses than you can think. I'm probably going to need backup for your ass. Well, anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted, yeah, this ghostwriter. Before we get into the size comparison and conclusion, I wanted to take a look at this figure right here. This is the Chain Attack Ghost Rider figure, and it's almost the perfect movie Ghost Rider. Getting a look at the face, and oh yeah, this is a definite improvement from the other one. It actually looks like a skull, and the teeth are not white. However, the fire on his head, while it looks pretty good, it looks like he's Super Saiyan now. Yeah, the pupils are still there, but this head looks way better than the other one, so I can excuse that. Well, at least he can make him still talk. Oh. Getting a look at the figure itself, you can see that most of the details are exactly the same as the other one. But this is not the same sculpt, it's completely different, which I appreciate the effort. This figure is more proportionate than the old one, but that's not saying much. Especially when we look at his hips. What the hell is this, dude? Could it really have bothered them to just push the thigh up more on the ball joint. I actually bought a second Ghost Rider just to mod the legs because it bothered me so much. And yeah, I think while it doesn't look that much better, it looks way better than whatever this is. You may have noticed that the right hand is once again different from the left. This time it's sculpted so we can hold his chain. Yeah, his chain. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. I don't have it. Ah! Ah! So rather than just being a normal ass Ghost Rider, he has to have a gimmick. This big old knob on the back. What does it do? It jerks off. I don't have the chain, but I have this like normal chain right here for a necklace. So what you do is just have him hold the chain. You press the button and there you go. Real fun gimmick, right kids? What if you don't have a chain? What are you supposed to do with this? Oh, I know. Let's just have him jerk off. Yeah, have him jerk off. Jerk off to anyone. Jerk off to Spider-Man. Another problem with this figure is his boots. While they look accurate, he can't stand for shit. But the reason why anyone would buy this piece of crap is because of the Nicolas Cage head. You know, for being an early Hasbro figure, this actually really does look like him. I feel like if you added some face print technology on this, it would look fucking fantastic. So yeah, you just take off the head like it didn't fall off a thousand times already. And there you go. While the head does look kind of small and, you know, off. This is still a really cool feature. Now you have a cool Johnny Blaze figure. Recreate all your favorite moments like the scraping at the door. Scraping at the door! He came with no bike, obviously, so I just used this piece of crap. This is a little bike that came with the 5-inch Ghost Rider. It's a ripcord bike. I don't know what it's called, but... It's not in scale, but it gets the job done for pictures. I mean, having this was better than no bike. Here are both the Ghost Riders side by side, and while I like the one with the chain whip action better, it's really up to you on which one you like more. Figure-wise, at least. Accessory-wise, yeah, the motorcycle one wins. Another thing to note is that the chain whip action one feels like rattly it's like his joints are ratchet joints but they're also loose at the same time which is weird and it's also why he's hard to stand the motorcycle one is more smooth and actually feels like a solid figure ghost rider is ghost rider head ass his head is at two ball joints so he has more articulation than the other ghost rider there is a joint at his head and a ball joint at his neck it's extremely loose though so it comes off all the time and obviously because of the gimmick his arm can't move in and out but it still rotates we don't need to go over the rest of the articulation both these guys are in scale with Marvel Legends, so let's see how they compare to other Marvel heroes. Here they are next to the Spider-Man 2 Magnetic Spider-Man, the Marvel Legends Amazon exclusive Wolverine, and the Toy Biz X2 Cyclops, Hulk 2003, the Infinity Saga Mark III Iron Man, Netflix Daredevil and Punisher. I don't have the Toy Biz ones. So what are my thoughts? Honestly, these guys can be considered shit to some. I'm the guy who likes all this old stuff, so to me, these figures are fine. 
They were fine for their time, and they'll always hold a special place in my heart for being the only Ghost Rider movie figures. You can find the Chain Attack one for like $20 to $60, depending on the condition. The one with the bike can cost you at least $100. I was lucky enough to get mine for $50. This one isn't even for me either, this is for my friend Tiz. So what are my final thoughts? You motherfuckers better not make the price go up because of Multiverse of Madness.